Thank you for watching this video. This tutorial video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. NewQBO.com, a one-stop QuickBooks Online, learn and share blog. And if you need to sign up QuickBooks Online for a free trial, we have external links here. External links, sign up QuickBooks. And uh, if you want to sign up QuickBooks USA, here's the link. It will take you to QuickBooks website. QuickBooks Canada, QuickBooks UK, and QuickBooks Australia. So this video I'm going to focus on how to account for the gain or loss on a fixed asset sale or disposal. So I'm on QuickBooks Online homepage now. So. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to open the balance sheet here, and in this case, uh, I bought a computer for $1,000, and I have accumulated depreciation for $225, and uh, so the fixed asset net is $775, and uh, I sold this for $400 on August 28, 2015. So this balance sheet is uh, as of August. I'm going to change this to August. Let's say August 31st. I'm going to report. Okay, so, uh, number still the same. Okay, so uh, <coughs> what I have is uh, 775, and I sold it for uh, $400. So that means I have a net loss of 375 on this sale of uh, fixed assets. Okay, so whenever you have a, a fixed asset sale, you have first thing you want to do is make sure your cumulative depreciation is up to date through your sale date. So in this case, I'm up to date uh, through August, and uh, if it's not up to date, you have to, uh, you know. Uh, write his own entry to make it up to date okay so uh, I'm gonna write uh, down entry to remove uh, this 1000 and I'm gonna remove this 225 uh, from the balance sheet so 1000 is your right now it's on it's your debit and the contract depreciation is credit on your fixed asset account so when I write his own entry it will be credit, computer equipment, and debit 2005, and then uh, uh, write a sale of fixed asset account. So I'm going to write a zone entry right here. I'm going to do it on 828. That's, this, that's our uh, sale date. Okay, so the computer equipment. Computer equipment right here. Oh. Computer equipment, and you want to credit that one for one thousand, and your cumulative depreciation, which is this, is for uh, two to five, and the difference is seven seventy five. So Portal has to be, you know, should match, should equal 1000, 1000, debit and credit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is a difference. I'm going to create uh, a new account. It will be uh, income type. And I'm going to use uh, other income type as a detail type. So I'm going to say uh, sale of fixed assets so that's the account I want to use okay so this is just to remove uh, fixed assets from your uh, books from your balance sheet and then I have to write another John entry uh, for depositing a $400 uh, payment so I'm gonna save this save and close Okay, so if I refresh this now, 
yeah it's gone now okay on fixed assets on the balance is gone now the next step is to deposit uh, that $400 check so if you are doing bank feed you will see that $400 check deposit okay it's right here and uh, I'm gonna use the same sale of fixed asset account sale of fixed asset account right here and then just add it so now if I refresh this and run my income statement so I'm gonna run my income statement here as you can see here sale of fixed assets I have a loss of 375 okay and just in case uh, you know you don't do bank fits if that's the case then you have to do depart manual deposit I'm gonna remove this and also you have to do manual deposit as well okay so I'm gonna write uh, manual deposit in here right here bank deposit okay add deposit if the account is sale of fixed asset again sale of fixed asset and amount is four hundred dollars and it's on 828 that's the transaction date 828 828 okay and you go to select your uh, bank account let's say it's a checking amount is 400 okay so I, I can still run uh, income statement income statement so it's still so uh, my loss on the transaction yeah 375 okay so you know uh, the transaction is done okay so right now uh, since this is part of your total income your uh, your ordinary income uh, sometime uh, you know you may not like to see this number in here you know it's part of offering income now and uh, if you do uh, uh, analyze the income statement and you know some reason you don't like it here and you want to move it someplace underneath right after uh, your offering income then you will need to change your uh, uh, account type so right now it's under uh, yeah under income type then you will need to move it to uh, other income or ex other expense type see there's other type other income or the other expense so in this case it's a loss so you just need to select this one and this is sale of fixed assets still the same and you're just moving it basically the detail type so detail type you just select this one again or that's not exchange but you can just select this one and save and close it will give you a warning sign and just say yes and now if you run your income statement it used to be in here now it's below your offering income it's in here and if you have a gain uh, you just select uh, other income type in this case I have a loss uh, so you select uh, other income type you know if you want to see it below ordinary uh, income so everything is taken care of so that's what you have to do well thank you for watching this video and subscribe to our youtube channels it's a vp controller and new keyview we have two channels vp controller and new keyview like us on facebook and uh, visit our website newkeyview.com Thank you.